Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you today's video to explore their custom visual known as the Text Wrapper. Now, this custom visual uh, does share some parallels with their other custom visual, the Text Enhancer by MAQ Software, but the Text Enhancer has many more capabilities as far as fonts, highlighting, shadowing, things of that nature. The Text Wrapper truly excels when using text within your Power BI reports to have a fully functioning wrapping capability when you need to display that text. Now that's available within the text enhancer, but not to the degree that we have here in the text wrapper custom visual. This is great for displaying those single lines of text that might be a little bit longer, such as descriptions, responses, anything of that nature. And we're going to see we do have some capabilities from a formatting perspective. Of course, there definitely are some great options there, but it's all about if you're needing to display lines of text to your end users, this is going to be your best option. So let's take a look at the text wrapper by MAQ Software. So here inside Power BI, this is looking very similar to the text enhancer, but we're going to see a couple differences right away. Of course, we have a measure here, uh, sorry, a slicer that is specifying what to be displayed. Similar to the text enhancer, we need to have an individual line of text be portrayed. If we eliminate the slicer, we will note that there's a default error message. But this will very quickly illustrate how this text wrapper differs. If we look here, now we have an expandable line here. We can have a navigational line, query returned more than one row, please filter data to return one row. It's all visible. Now we can extend this down as well, so it's just in one kind of area, but this is the capability we get default when using this text wrapper. So you can already see when, you, when an important visualization depends on a larger amount of text, this is going to be a fantastic element for using in your visualization. As well, there's some additional features. It's not just needs to be categorical data. As you can see, it can be measured data. Also, we have, do have variations from a font perspective. These are the items that are available within the formatting pane, which we'll look at momentarily, but we can bold, italicize, underline. We can add prefixes and a suffix as well. We also have alignment options, and this is all going to be located inside of the formatting pane in the respective areas. Naturally, text settings is going to be our color, size, and alignment. Then we have the static text. This is going to be if we want to put a prefix or a suffix, so we have that choice here. And do we want to include a colon or not? So that's what's got to illustrate. As, you, as we can see, a couple of parallels with the uh, text enhancer here. But we have that wrap capability, that default capability that regardless of what gets populated in the size of the visual that we give it, the size that we give this text wrapper by MAQ Software, we will always be able to explore the entirety of the text. Either it gets displayed because we've given it enough real estate to leverage that, or we can use the navigational arrows to move up and down from within that line of text. So if you need to show off and you need to have some text visible for your end users, this is going to be your go-to visual. Well, thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ Software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at Pragmatic Works by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com.